The federal city of Bonn German pronunciation, BN, Listen, is a city on the banks of the Rhine in the German state of North Rhine-Westphalia, with a population of over 300,000. About 24 kilometers 15 miles south-southeast of Cologne, Bonn is in the southernmost part of the Rhine-Ruhr region, Germany's largest metropolitan area, with over 11 million inhabitants. It is famously known as the birthplace of Ludwig van Beethoven in 1770. Beethoven spent his childhood and teenage years in Bonn. Because of a political compromise following German reunification, the German federal government maintains a substantial presence in Bonn. Roughly a third of all ministerial jobs are located in Bonn as of 2019, and the city is considered a second, unofficial, capital of the country. Bonn is the secondary seat of the President, the Chancellor, the Bundesrat and the primary seat of six federal government ministries and 20 federal authorities. The title of federal city German, Bundestart, reflects its important political status within Germany. Founded in the 1st century BC as a Roman settlement, Bonn is one of Germany's oldest cities. From 1597 to 1794, Bonn was the capital of the Electorate of Cologne, and residence of the Archbishops and Prince Electors of Cologne. From 1949 to 1990, Bonn was the capital of West Germany, and Germany's present constitution, the Basic Law, was declared in the city in 1949. The era when Bonn served as the capital of West Germany is referred to by historians as the Bonn Republic. From 1990 to 1999, Bonn served as the seat of government, but no longer capital, of reunited Germany. The headquarters of Deutsche Post DHL and Deutsche Telekom, both DAX-listed corporations, are in Bonn. The city is home to the University of Bonn and a total of 20 United Nations institutions, including headquarters for Secretariat of the UN Framework Convention Climate Change UNFCCC, the Secretariat of the UN Convention to Combat Desertification UNCCD, and the UN Volunteers Programme. Geography <laughs> <laughs> Topic. Topography Situated in the southernmost part of the rhine ruhr region, Germany's largest metropolitan area with over 11 million inhabitants, Bonn lies within the German state of North Rhine-Westphalia, close to the border with Rhineland-Palatinate. Spanning an area of more 141.2 square kilometers, 55 square miles on both sides of the River Rhine, almost three quarters of the city lie on the river's left bank. To the south and to the west, Bonn is bordering the Eiffel region which encompasses the Rhineland Nature Park. To the north, Bonn borders the Cologne Lowland. Natural borders are constituted by the River Sieg to the northeast and by the Siebingerberge also known as the Seven Hills to the east. The largest extension of the city in north-south dimensions is 15 km 9 miles and 12.5 km 8 miles in west-east dimensions. The city borders have a total length of 61 kilometers, 38 miles. The geographical center of Bonn is the Bundeskanzlerplatz, Chancellor Square in bonn Grönau. Topic: Administration. The German state of North Rhine-Westphalia is divided into five governmental districts German, Regierungsbezirk, and Bonn is part of the governmental district of Cologne German, Regierungsbezirk Köln. Within this governmental district, the city of Bonn is an urban district in its own right. The urban district of Bonn is then again divided into four administrative municipal districts German, Stadtbezirk. These are Bonn, Bonn-Bad Godesberg, Bonn-Buell and Bonn-Hartberg. In 1969, the independent towns of Bad Godesberg and Buell as well as several villages were incorporated into Bonn, resulting in a city more than twice as large as before. Climate Bonn has an oceanic climate CFB. In the south of the Cologne lowland in the Rhine Valley, Bonn is in one of Germany's warmest regions. Topic History Topic <inaudible> 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 <inaudible>
Topic: <laughs> Founding and Roman Times. The history of the city dates back to Roman times. In about 12 BC, the Roman army appears to have stationed a small unit in what is presently the historical center of the city. Even earlier, the army had resettled members of a Germanic tribal group allied with Rome, the Ubi, in Bonn. The Latin name for that settlement, Bonna, may stem from the original population of this and many other settlements in the area, the Eberoni. The Eberoni were members of a large tribal coalition effectively wiped out during the final phase of Caesar's war in Gaul. After several decades, the army gave up the small camp linked to the Ubi settlement. During the 1st century AD, the army then chose a site to the north of the emerging town in what is now the section of Bon Casteth to build a large military installation dubbed Castra Bonensis, i.e., literally, Fort Bon. Initially built from wood, the fort was eventually rebuilt in stone. With additions, changes and new construction, the fort remained in use by the army into the waning days of the Western Roman Empire, possibly the mid-5th century. The structures themselves remained standing well into the Middle Ages, when they were called the Bonberg. They were used by Frankish kings until they fell into disuse. Eventually, much of the building materials seem to have been reused in the construction of Bonn's 13th century city wall. The Sternte Stargate in the city center is a reconstruction using the last remnants of the medieval city wall. To date, Bonn's Roman fort remains the largest fort of its type known from the ancient world, i.e. a fort built to accommodate a full-strength imperial legion and its auxiliaries. The fort covered an area of approximately 250,000 square meters, 62 acres. Between its walls it contained a dense grid of streets and a multitude of buildings, ranging from spacious headquarters and large officers' quarters to barracks, stables and a military jail. Among the legions stationed in Bonn, the first, i.e. the Prima Legio Minervia, seems to have served here the longest. Units of the Bonn Legion were deployed to theatres of war ranging from modern-day Algeria to what is now the Russian Republic of Chechnya. The chief Roman road linking the provincial capitals of Cologne and Mainz cut right through the fort where it joined the fort's main road now, Roma Strasse. Once past the south gate, the Cologne-Mainz road continued along what are now streets named Belderberg, Adenauer Alley Al. On both sides of the road, the local settlement, Bonner, grew into a sizable Roman town. Bonn is shown on the 4th century Putinger map. In late antiquity, much of the town seems to have been destroyed by marauding invaders. The remaining civilian population then took refuge inside the fort along with the remnants of the troops stationed here. During the final decades of imperial rule, the troops were supplied by Francie chieftains employed by the Roman administration. When the end came, these troops simply shifted their allegiances to the new barbarian rulers, the Kingdom of the Franks. From the fort, the Bonberg, as well as from a new medieval settlement to the south centered around what later became the Minster, grew the medieval city of Bonn. Local legends arose from this period that the name of the village came from St. Boniface via Vulgar Latin asterisk Bonifatia, but this proved to be a myth. Middle Ages and early modern times Between the 11th and 13th centuries, the Romanesque style Bonn Minster was built, and in 1597 Bonn became the seat of the Archdiocese of Cologne. The city gained more influence and grew considerably. The city was subject to a major bombardment during the Siege of Bonn in 1689. The elector Clemens August, ruled 1723-1761, ordered the construction of a series of Baroque buildings which still give the city its character. Another memorable ruler was Max Franz, ruled 1784-1794, who founded the university and the spa quarter of Bad Godesburg. In addition he was a patron of the young Ludwig van Beethoven, who was born in Bonn in 1770. The elector financed the composer's first journey to Vienna. In 1794, the city was seized by French troops, becoming a part of the First French Empire. In 1815 following the Napoleonic Wars, Bonn became part of the Kingdom of Prussia. 
Administered within the Prussian Rhine province, the city became part of the German Empire in 1871 during the Prussian-led unification of Germany. Bonn was of little relevance in these years. Topic: 20th century and the Bonn Republic period. During the Second World War, Bonn acquired military significance because of its strategic location on the Rhine, which formed a natural barrier to easy penetration into the German heartland from the west. The Allied ground advance into Germany reached Bonn on 7 March 1945, and the U.S. 1st Infantry Division captured the city during the Battle of 8–9 March 1945. Following the Second World War, Bonn was in the British zone of occupation. Following the advocacy of West Germany's first Chancellor, Konrad Adenauer, a former Cologne mayor and a native of that area, Bonn became the de facto capital, officially designated the temporary seat of the federal institutions of the newly formed Federal Republic of Germany in 1949. However, the Bundestag, seated in Bonn's Bundeshaus, affirmed Berlin's status as the German capital. Bonn was chosen as the provisional capital and seat of government despite the fact that Frankfurt already had most of the required facilities and using Bonn was estimated to be 95 million German marks more expensive than using Frankfurt. However, Adenauer and other prominent politicians intended to make Berlin the capital of the reunified Germany, and felt that locating the capital in a major city like Frankfurt or Hamburg would imply a permanent capital and weaken support in West Germany for reunification. In 1949, the Parliamentary Council in Bonn drafted and adopted the current German constitution, the basic law for the Federal Republic of Germany. As the political centre of West Germany, Bonn saw six chancellors and six presidents of the Federal Republic of Germany. Bonn's time as the capital of West Germany is commonly referred to as the Bonn Republic, in contrast to the Berlin Republic which followed reunification in 1990. Topic: Bonn in the Berlin Republic. German reunification in 1990 made Berlin the nominal capital of Germany again. This decision, however, did not mandate that the republic's political institutions would also move. While some argued for the seat of government to move to Berlin, others advocated leaving it in Bonn. A situation roughly analogous to that of the Netherlands, where Amsterdam is the capital but The Hague is the seat of government. Berlin's previous history as United Germany's capital was strongly connected with the German Empire, the Weimar Republic and more ominously with Nazi Germany. It was felt that a new peacefully united Germany should not be governed from a city connected to such overtones of war. Additionally, Bonn was closer to Brussels, headquarters of the European Economic Community. Former Chancellor Willy Brandt caused considerable offence to the Western Allies during the debate by stating that France wouldn't have kept the seat of government at Vichy after liberation. The heated debate that resulted was settled by the Bundestag Germany's Parliament only on 20 June 1991. By a vote of 338 to 320, the Bundestag voted to move the seat of government to Berlin. The vote broke largely along regional lines, with legislators from the south and west favoring Bonn and legislators from the north and east voting for Berlin. It also broke along generational lines as well, older legislators with memories of Berlin's past glory favored Berlin, while younger legislators favored Bonn. Ultimately, the votes of the Eastern German legislators tipped the balance in favor of Berlin. From 1990 to 1999, Bonn served as the seat of government of reunited Germany. In recognition of its former status as German capital, it holds the name of federal city German, Bundestart. Bonn currently shares the status of Germany's seat of government with Berlin, with the President, the Chancellor and many government ministries maintaining substantial presences in Bonn. Over 8,000 of the 18,000 federal officials remain in Bonn. A total of 19 United Nations UN institutions operate from Bonn today. Topic: Politics. Topic: City Council. 
The city council of Bonn used to be based in the Rococo style and 1737 built Alters Rathaus Old City Hall adjacent to Bonn's central market square. However, due to the enlargement of Bonn in 1969 through the incorporation of Buell and Bad Godesburg, it moved into the larger Stadthaus facilities further up north. This was necessary for the city council to accommodate the increased number of representatives. The mayor of Bonn still sits in the Alters Rathaus, which is also used for representative and official purposes. As of the 2014-2020 election cycle, the Christian Democrats CDU hold the majority of mandates in the city council 27 seats, followed by the Social Democrats SPD with 20 seats, the Greens Bundnis 90, Die Grünen with 16 seats, the Liberals FDP with 7 seats, the Left Die Linke with 5 seats, the local Bürgerbund Bonn with 4 seats, the Alternative for Germany AFD with 3 seats, and independent candidates with a total of 4 seats. Seats. There are currently 86 seats in the City Council of Bonn. The mayor is Ashik Alexander Sridharan, CDU, directly elected in 2015. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Landtag election. Four delegates represent the federal city of Bonn in the Landtag of North Rhine-Westphalia. The last election took place in May 2012. The current delegates are Bernard von Grunberg SPD, Renata Hendricks SPD, Joachim Stamp FDP, and Rolf Bue Bundnis 90, Die Grünen. The next Landtag elections take place in May 2017. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> German federal election. Bonn's constituency is called Bundeswillkreis Bonn 096. In the German federal election 2017, Ulrich Kelber SPD was elected a member of German federal parliament, the Bundestag by direct mandate. It is his fifth term. Katja Dorner representing Bundnis 90, Die Grünen, Alexander Graf Lambsdorff for FDP and Claudia lucking Mitchell of the CDU were elected from regional lists. The next federal election takes place on the 24th of October 2021. Topic: Culture. Beethoven's birthplace is located in Bongas near the marketplace. Next to the marketplace is the old city hall, built in 1737 in Rococo style under the rule of Clemens August of Bavaria. It is used for receptions of guests of the city, and as an office for the mayor. Nearby is the Kurfürstliches Schloss, built as a residence for the Prince Elector and now the main building of the University of Bonn. The Poppelsdorfer Alley is an avenue flanked by chestnut trees which had the first horse car of the city. It connects the Kurfürstliches Schloss with the Poppelsdorfer Schloss, a palace that was built as a resort for the Prince Electors in the first half of the 18th century, and whose grounds are now a botanical garden, the Botanischer Garten Bonn. This axis is interrupted by a railway line and Bonn Hauptbahnhof, a building erected in 1883-84. The Beethoven Monument stands on the Münsterplatz, which is flanked by the Bonn Minster, one of Germany's oldest churches. The three highest structures in the city are the WDR radio mast in Bonn Venusberg, 180 meters or 590 feet, the headquarters of the Deutsche Post called Post Tower, 162.5 meters or 533 feet, and the former building for the German members of Parliament Lange Eugen, 114.7 meters or 376 feet, now the location of the UN campus. Topic: Churches. Bonminster. De Pelkirche Schwarzrheindorf built in 1151. Old Cemetery Bonn, Alter Friedhof, one of the best known cemeteries in Germany. Kreuzbergkirche, built in 1627 with Johann Balthasar Neumann's Heiligstiege, it is a stairway for Christian pilgrims. Street. Remigius, where Beethoven was baptized. Topic: Castles and residences. Godesberg Fortress ruins. 
Topic: <laughs> Modern buildings. Beethoven Hall. Bundeswehrtel Federal Quarter with lots of government structures including Post Tower, the tallest building in the state North Rhine-Westphalia, housing the headquarters of Deutsche Post DHL. Maritim Bonn, five-star hotel and convention center. Sherman Bau, headquarters of Deutsche Welle. Lange Eugen, since 2006 the center of the United Nations campus, formerly housing the offices of the members of the German Parliament. Deutsche Telekom headquarters. T-Mobile headquarters. Kamea Grand, five-star hotel. Topic. Museums Just as Bonn's other four major museums, the Haus der Geschichte or Museum of the History of the Federal Republic of Germany, is located on the so-called Museumsmile. Museum Mile. The Haus der Geschichte is one of the foremost German museums of contemporary German history, with branches in Berlin and Leipzig. In its permanent exhibition, the Haus der Geschichte presents German history from 1945 until the present, also shedding light on Bonn's own role as former capital of West Germany. Numerous temporary exhibitions emphasize different features, such as Nazism or important personalities in German history. The Kunstmuseum Bonn or Bonn Museum of Modern Art is an art museum founded in 1947. The Kunstmuseum exhibits both temporary exhibitions and its permanent collection. The latter is focused on Rhenish Expressionism and post-war German art. German artists on display include Georg Baselitz, Joseph Beuys, Hannah Darboven, Anselm Kiefer, Blinky Palermo and Wolf Vostel. The museum owns one of the largest collections of artwork by expressionist painter August Macker. His work is also on display in the August Macker House, located in Macker's former home where he lived from 1911 to 1914. The Bundeskunsthal full name, Kunst und Ausstellungsschule der Bundesrepublik Deutschland or Art and Exhibition Hall of the Federal Republic of Germany, focuses on the crossroads of culture, arts, and science. To date, it attracted more than 17 million visitors. One of its main objectives is to show the cultural heritage outside of Germany or Europe. Next to its changing exhibitions, the Bundeskunsthal regularly hosts concerts, discussion panels, congresses, and lectures. The Museum Koenig is Bonn's Natural History Museum. Affiliated with the University of Bonn, it is also a zoological research institution housing the Leibniz Institute für Biodiversität der Tier. Politically interesting, it is on the premises of the Museum Koenig where the Parliamentarische Rat first met. The Deutsches Museum Bonn, affiliated with one of the world's foremost science museums, the Deutsches Museum in Munich, is an interactive science museum focusing on post-war German scientists, engineers, and inventions. Other museums include the Beethoven House, birthplace of Ludwig van Beethoven, the Rheinisches Landesmuseum Bonn, Rheinisch Regional Museum Bonn, the Bonn Women's Museum, the Rheinisches Maler Museum and the Arithmium. Nature There are several parks, leisure and protected areas in and around Bonn. The De Rheinauer is Bonn's most important leisure park, with its role being comparable to what Central Park is for New York. It lies on the banks of the Rhine and is the city's biggest park intramuros. The Rhine Promenade and the Altersoll Old Toll Station are in direct neighborhood of the city center and are popular amongst both residents and visitors. The Arboretum Park Hall is an arboretum with specimens dating to back to 1870. The Botanische Garten Botanical Garden is affiliated with the university and it is here where Titan Aram set a world record. The Natural Reserve of Kottenforst is a large area of protected woods on the hills west of the city center. It is about 40 square kilometers, 15 square miles in area and part of the Rhineland Nature Park, 1045 square kilometers or 403 square miles in the very south of the city on the border with Wachtberg and Rhineland Palatinate. There is an extinct volcano, the Roderberg, featuring a popular area for hikes. Also south of the city, there is the Siebinger Berge which is part of the lower half of the Middle Rhine region. 
The nearby upper half of the Middle Rhine from Bingen to Koblenz is a UNESCO World Heritage Site with more than 40 castles and fortresses from the Middle Ages and important German vineyards. Transportation Air traffic Named after Konrad Adenauer, the first post-war Chancellor of West Germany, Cologne Bonn Airport is situated 15 km miles northeast from the city centre of Bonn. With around 10.3 million passengers passing through it in 2015, it is the seventh largest passenger airport in Germany and the third largest in terms of cargo operations. By traffic units, which combines cargo and passengers, the airport is in fifth position in Germany. As of March 2015, Cologne Bonn Airport had services to 115 passenger destinations in 35 countries. The airport is one of Germany's few 24-hour airports, and is a hub for Eurowings and cargo operators FedEx Express and UPS Airlines. The Federal Motorway Autobahn A59 connects the airport with the city. Long distance and regional trains to and from the airport stop at Cologne, Bonn Airport Station. Other major airports within a one-hour drive by car are Frankfurt International Airport and Dusseldorf International Airport. Rail and bus system Bonn's central railway station, Bonn Hauptbahnhof, serves urban S-Bahn, U-Bahn, sharing the same network with the neighboring city of Cologne, regional regional Bahn, and long-distance destinations ICE, such as Berlin, Hamburg, Munich, Zurich, Vienna, Brussels, Amsterdam and Paris. Daily, more than 67,000 people travel via Bonn Hauptbahnhof. In late 2016, around 80 long distance and more than 165 regional trains departed to or from Bonn every day. The other major railway station Siegberg, Bonn, lies on the high-speed rail line between Cologne and Frankfurt. The bus system of Bonn is composed of roughly 30 lines which operate on a regular basis. During peaks, buses usually run every 5 minutes, off-peak buses run every 20 minutes. Several lines offer night services, especially during the weekends. Bonn is part of the Verkehrsverbund Rhein-Sieg Rhein-Sieg Transport Association which is the public transport association covering the area of the Cologne-Bonn region. <laughs> <laughs> Road network Four German autobahns run through or adjacent to Bonn, the A59, right bank of the Rhine, connecting Bonn with Dusseldorf and Duisburg, the A555, left bank of the Rhine, connecting Bonn with Cologne, the A562, connecting the right with the left bank of the Rhine south of Bonn, and the A565, connecting the A59 and the A555 with the A61 to the southwest. Three Bundestrain, which have a general 100 km per hour, 62 miles per hour speed limit in contrast to the Autobahn, connect Bonn to its immediate surroundings, Bundestrain B9, B42 and B56. With Bonn being divided into two parts by the Rhine, three bridges are crucial for inner city road traffic, the Konrad Adenauer Brücke A562, the Friedrich Ebert Brücke A565, and the Kennedy Brücke B56. In addition, regular ferries operate between Bonn Mellum and Königswinter, Bonn Bad Godesberg and Niederdollendorf, and Grau Rheindorf and Mondorf. Port Located in the northern subdistrict of Graureindorf, the inland harbour of Bonn is used for container traffic as well as overseas transport. The annual turnover amounts to around 500,000 t 490,000 long tons, 550,000 short tons. Regular passenger transport occurs to Cologne and Dusseldorf. Economy 
The head offices of Deutsche Telekom, its subsidiary T-Mobile, Deutsche Post, Haribo, German Academic Exchange Service, and SolarWorld are in Bonn. Education <inaudible> 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 The Rheinische Friedrich Wilhelms Universität Bonn, University of Bonn is one of the largest universities in Germany. It is also the location of the German Research Institute Deutsche Forschungsgemeinschaft DFG offices and of the German Academic Exchange Service Deutsche Akademische Austauschdienst DAD. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Private Schools. Aloysius Kolleg, a Jesuit private school in Bad Godesberg with boarding facilities Amos Comenius Gymnasium, a Protestant private school in Bad Godesberg Bonn International School BIS, a private English-speaking school set in the former American compound in the Rheinauer, which offers places from kindergarten to twelfth grade. It follows the curriculum of the International Baccalaureate. Libish Schuler, private Arabic high school Independent Bonn International School, IBIS private primary school serving from kindergarten, reception, and years 1 to 6 Ecole de Gaulle, Adenauer, private French-speaking school serving grades preschool maternelle, to grade 4 CM1. Cardinal Frings Gymnasium KFG, private Catholic school of the Archdiocese of Cologne in Buell Liebfrauenschule LFS, private Catholic school of the Archdiocese of Cologne Sankt Adelheid Gymnasium, private Catholic school of the Archdiocese of Cologne in Buell. Clara Fay Gymnasium, private Catholic school of the Archdiocese of Cologne in Bad Godesberg. Ernst Kalkul Gymnasium, private boarding and day school in Oberkassel. Otto Kuhn Schule, Pada, private day school in Bad Godesberg. Collegium Josephinum Bonn, Kojobo, private Catholic day school. Académie Fur International Building, private higher educational facility offering programs for international students. Topic: Demographics. As of 2011, Bonn had a population of 327,913. About 70% of the population was entirely of German origin, while about 100,000 people, equating to roughly 30%, were at least partly of non-German origin. The city is one of the fastest growing municipalities in Germany and the 18th most populous city in the country. Bonn's population is predicted to surpass the populations of Wuppertal and Bochum before the year 2030. The following list shows the largest groups of origin of Menorites with Migration background in Bonn as of the 31st of December 2017. Topic: Sports. Bonn is home of the Telekom Baskets Bonn, the only basketball club in Germany that owns its arena, the Telekom Dome. The club is a regular participant at international competitions such as the Basketball Champions League. The city also has an amateur football team Bonner SC which was formed in 1965 through the merger of Bonner FV and Tura Bonn. The headquarter of the International Paralympic Committee have since 1999 been located in Bonn. <laughs> <laughs> International relations Since 1983, the city of Bonn has established friendship relations with the city of Tel Aviv, Israel, and since 1988 Bonn, in former times the residence of the Prince's Electors of Cologne, and Potsdam, Germany, the formerly most important residential city of the Prussian rulers, have established a city-to-city -city partnership. Central Bonn is surrounded by a number of traditional towns and villages which were independent up to several decades ago. As many of those communities had already established their own contacts and partnerships before the regional and local reorganization in 1969, the federal city of Bonn now has a dense network of city-district partnerships with European partner towns. 
The city district of Bonn is a partner of the English University City of Oxford, England, UK since 1947, of Budafok, District 22 of Budapest, Hungary since 1991 and of Apol, Poland officially since 1997. Contacts were established 1954. The district of Bad Godesberg has established partnerships with St. Cloud in France, Frascati in Italy, Windsor and Maidenhead in England, UK and Kortrijk in Belgium. A friendship agreement has been signed with the town of Yalova, Turkey. The district of Buell on the right bank of the Rhine and the city district of Hartberg foster partnerships with towns in France, Mayacourt and Villemomble. Moreover, the city of Bonn has developed a concept of international cooperation and maintains sustainability-oriented project partnerships in addition to traditional city twinning, among others with Minsk in Belarus, Ulaanbaatar in Mongolia, Bukhara in Uzbekistan, Chengdu in China and La Paz in Bolivia. <laughs> Twin towns — sister cities The city of Bonn is twinned with Tel Aviv, Israel, since 1983 Potsdam, Germany, since 1988 Bonn City District has partnerships with Oxford, United Kingdom, since 1947 Budapest, Budafok, Hungary, since 1991 Apol, Poland, since 1997 Bad Godesberg District has partnerships with Saint Cloud, France, since 1957. Frascati, Italy, since 1957. Kortrijk, Belgium, since 1957. Windsor and Maidenhead, United Kingdom, since 1960. The city of Bonn also has project partnerships with. Topic: Notable residents. Up to the 19th century Johann Peter Salomon Asterisk, baptized 20 February 1745, 25 November 1815 in London, musician Franz Anton Rees, Asterisk November 10, 1755, 1 November 1846 in Bonn, violinist and violin teacher Ludwig van Beethoven, asterisk December 16, 1770, the 26th of March 1827 in Vienna, composer. Salomon Oppenheim Jr., asterisk June 19, 1772, November 8, 1828 in Mainz, banker. Peter Joseph Lenné, asterisk September 29, 1789, the 23rd of January 1866 in Potsdam, gardener and landscape architect. Friedrich von Gerald, asterisk March 5, 1797, July 27, 1879 in Linz, German diplomat. Karl Joseph Simrock, asterisk August 28, 1802, the 18th of July 1876 in Bonn, writer and specialist in German. Wilhelm Newland, asterisk July 1806 in Bonn, December 28, 1889 in Bonn, composer and conductor. Johanna Kinkel, asterisk July 8, 1810, the 15th of November 1858 in London, composer and writer. Moses Hess, asterisk June 21, 1812, April 6, 1875 in Paris, philosopher and writer. Johann Gottfried Kinkel, asterisk August 11, 1815, the 12th of November 1882 in Zurich, theologian, writer and politician. Alexander Kaufmann, asterisk May 14, 1817, the 1st of May 1893 in Wertheim, author and archivist. Leopold Kaufmann, asterisk March 13, 1821, the 27th of February 1898 in Bonn, Mayor. Julius von Hast, asterisk May 1, 1822, the 16th of August 1887 in Christchurch, New Zealand, professor of geology. Dietrich Brandis, asterisk March 31, 1824, the 28th of May 1907 in Bonn, botanist. Baldwin Mulhausen, asterisk the 27th of January 1825, the 28th of May 1905 in Berlin, traveler and writer. Maurus Walter, asterisk June 4, 1825, July 8, 1890 in Buron, Benedictine, founder and first abbot of the Abbey of Buron and Buronese Congregation. 
August Reifferscheid, asterisk October 3, 1835 in Bonn, 10 November 1887 in Strasbourg, philologist Antonius Maria Bodwick, asterisk November 2, 1839 January 8, 1915 in Rome, Jesuit missionary and founder Nathan Zuntz, asterisk October 7, 1847 – 23 March 1920 in Berlin, physicians Alexander Koenig, asterisk February 20, 1858 in St. Petersburg, July 16, 1940 in Good Blücherhof, Klocksen, Mecklenburg, German zoologist and founder of today's museum Koenig in Bonn, Alfred Philipson asterisk January 1, 1864, the 28th of March 1953 in Bonn, geographer. Johanna Elbeskirchen asterisk April 11, 1864, the 17th of May 1943 in Rudersdorf, feminist writer and activist. Max Allsberg asterisk October 16, 1877, the 10th of September 1933, lawyer. Kurt Wolf March 3, 1887, the 21st of October 1963, publisher. Hans Riegel, senior, asterisk April 3, 1893 in Friesdorf Village, now part of Bonn, the 31st of March 1945, entrepreneur. Eduard Krebsbach, asterisk August 8, 1894, May 28, 1947 in Landsberg am Lech, SS doctor in Nazi Mauthausen concentration camp executed for war crimes. Paul Kemp, asterisk May 20, 1896 in Bad Godesburg, now part of Bonn, the 13th of August 1953 in Bonn, actor. Topic: 20th century. Topic: 1900 to 1950. Hermann Joseph Abs asterisk October 15, 1901, February 5, 1994 in Bad Soden am Taunus, board member of the Deutsche Bank. Paul Ludwig Landsberg, born December 3, 1901, April 2, 1944 in Sachsenhausen concentration camp, philosopher. Heinrich Lutzler, born January 27, 1902, the 13th of June 1988 in Bonn, philosopher, art historian, literary scholar. Theodore Schiefer asterisk June 11, 1910, Bad Godesberg, April 9, 1992, historian and medievalist. Irene Sanger Brett born Brett, born April 24, 1911, the 20th of October 1983 in Stuttgart, mathematician and physicist. Ernst Friedrich Schumacher, born August 16, 1911, the 4th of September 1977 in the train between Geneva and Lausanne, economist. Klaus Barbie asterisk October 25, 1913, Bad Godesberg, the 25th of September 1991 in Lyon, the Butcher of Lyon. Carl Theodor Molinari, born February 7, 1915, the 11th of December 1993 in Dortmund, general and founding chairman of the German Armed Forces Association. Carl Robert Crichton, born June 26, 1916 in Bad Godesberg, September 7, 1943 in Berlin Plotzensee, pianist Hanjo Hasse, born August 31, 1921 February 5, 1983 in Fulkirk, German actor Walter Gattel, March 15, 1924, actor 5 May 1997 Walter Eschweiler, born September 20, 1935 football referees Alexandra Cords, born November 16, 1935, the 27th of October 1986 in Châteauneuf-du-Pape, writer. Joachim Beimeyer, born November 22, 1936, actor. Roswitha Esser, asterisk, born the 18th of January 1941, canoeist, gold medal winner at the Olympic Games in 1964 and 1968, sportswoman of the year 1964. Hyde Simonis asterisk born July 4, 1943, former Prime Minister of Schleswig-Holstein, since 2005 Honorary Chairman of UNICEF Germany Paul Alger asterisk born August 13, 1943, football player Johannes Motsch asterisk July 8, 1949, archivist and historian in Meiningen Klaus Ludwig asterisk born October 5, 1949, race car driver Topic 1951 up to present. 
Gunter Ollenschlager, born March 3, 1951 in Buell, medical and science journalist Hans Hannes Bongartz asterisk October 3, 1951, former professional football player, football coach Krista Gerch asterisk August 28, 1952, politician, Alliance, 90, The Greens Thomas de Maizière asterisk the 21st of January 1954, politician, CDU, former Minister of Defence, Minister of the Interior. Olaf Manthe asterisk April 21st 1955, former touring car racing driver. Michael Coonan asterisk June 21st 1955, April 25th 1991 in Kassel, neo-Nazi. Roger Willemsen asterisk August 15, 1955, the 7th of February 2016 in Wentorf, publicist, author, essayist and presenter. Norman Rentrop asterisk October 26, 1957, publisher, author and investor. Marcus Maria Profitlich asterisk March 25, 1960, carpenter, comedian, actor. Guido Westerwell, asterisk December 27, 1961, March 8, 2016, politician, former foreign minister and vice-chancellor of Germany from 2009 to 2011. Matthias Doffner, asterisk the 15th of January 1963, chief executive officer of Axel Springer AG. Johannes B. Kerner, born December 9, 1964, moderator, his abitur at the Aloysius College and studied in Bonn. Anthony Baffo, born May 25, 1965 sports presenter, former football player and actor. Sonia Zietlow born May 13, 1968, TV presenter. Burkhard Garvey Gasterisk September 1, 1968, member of the Red Army faction. Sabri Aten Birken born September 19, 1970, founder of the organization Braille Without Borders, Tibetologist. Torsten Liebot asterisk July 20, 1972, writer. Silke Bodenbender asterisk the 31st of January 1974, actress. Julie Zeddy H asterisk June 30, 1974, writer. Marcus Diekmann born the 7th of January 1976, beach volleyball player. Bernadette Heerwagen born June 22, 1977, actress. Sebastian Stahl born September 20, 1978, race car driver. Sonia Fuss asterisk November 5, 1978, soccer player. Andreas Tolza born 27 January 1980, judoka. Jens Hartwig born April 16, 1980, actor. Natalie Haller asterisk September 23, 1981, front woman of the dance project Cascada. Marcel N. D. Jeng born May 6, 1982, football player. Mark Swiebler born 13 March 1984, badminton player. Benjamin Barg asterisk September 15, 1984, football player. Alexandros Margaritis born September 20, 1984, Greek-German race car driver. Ken Miao born March 16, 1986, pop singer. Julia Rader asterisk born 1987, politician. Celia Aquino da born June 27, 1988, football player. Luke Mockridge born March 21, 1989, comedian and author. Pius Hines born May 4, 1989, professional poker player and 2011 WSOP main event champion. Jonas Wolfarth Bottomen born February 20, 1990, basketball player. Lavina born in May 1, 1991, singer. Bienvenue Basala Mazana born January 2, 1992, football player. Annika Beck born February 16, 1994, tennis player. Peter Schultz a mathematician and Fields Medal winner. <laughs>